Hi. Hello. So this video is how to draw the five pointed star without using a compass. And for this, we're going to use the um, the golden section, um, uh, which is a relationship between two numbers. And we can use this um, and some simple uh, squared paper by just counting the squares to plot it out. So to uh, to establish the um the golden section we use the fibonacci numbers now i can get into the fibonacci sequence but that might have to be uh, something for another video we just uh, the fibonacci sequence is an expression through numerical uh, numbers of the divine proportion which is the golden section ratio that we want so uh, these are the first numbers in the sequence i'm just going to use these two 13 and 21 because they fit on my page so what i've done here is i've counted 21 squares across there on my squared paper so that's 21 and then i've counted 13 from this end and 13 from this end and this has determined where these lines fall that I've drawn out. So the relationship between this section and this is in the is in the golden section. The the ratio between them is the golden ratio. And the ratio between this bit um and the whole is the golden ratio as well. So and the it has a very special relationship to the number uh, to the five-pointed star. So what I want to do with this is now that I've got uh, the sort of re the the ratios, the relationship marked out, I want to cut this into strips of ribbon, if you like, which are sort of, I'm going to use these. These are sort of like very rough um, uh, calipers, if you like, uh, golden section dividers. That's what we're sort of going to do here. Uh, very, very rough. So I'm cutting it into ribbons, but, but I still want to be able to see where the uh, lines are that I've marked. I'm doing a block of two squares because I'm going to use the line down the center of each as my accurate line. One, two, three. So I need five of these. Um, four and five. Right, so I've got actually got six there, so I need six, I need five. Right, so the ends we don't count, but we leave those on because we need them. And I've got my cork board and a piece of paper over it, and we're going to use some pins. So first off, we take the first one, and I'm going to put the pin through. See how I'm using that line in the centre? That's going to be, that's where my actual line is. I'm going to pin this on roughly in the corner. Actually, I'm going to put another one on underneath it about that and I'll show you what happened. So that they both go through the center, pin that in place, push them down. Right, the one of them I'm just gonna slide off the top for a minute. The other one, the other one I'm going to pin again through that center line. You imagine that this is the line that we're drawing. Okay. So I'm gonna pin that through there and again I'm going to take another one pin it underneath and I'm stretching it across I have to sort of judge where I think it might go okay I'll slide that one off right these two now I'm taking this second one here and marking into the middle with my pin, being careful not to move the others. And then it's going to go through the same point on that one. OK, 
okay and you have to sort of keep them taut and find out where they naturally want to land so you want to you, these are very rudimentary sort of uh, golden section dividers this is sort of like your compass that's the center of your compass and you're swinging arcs that's what the paper is doing swinging arcs so you've actually managed to do this without using the compass so now we've got those in the first three are the hardest in a way but they prove how accurate you are so i've done pinned that next one it's going to go through there and then it's not looking brilliantly accurate this because that should fall right onto that center there so i might just move this one slightly See if that makes a difference. Have I got that one pinned accurately? Yeah, that's better. So these, you have to imagine that the center points of this are going to land. I'll pin this so that you can see. It goes through there. It's going to land exactly there. Push it down. It's not quite flat. And that's where our other point is going to be. Which we're going to use this last one to join up. Can you see what's happening? Pin that one in there. Those points land onto there. Through the centre there. And it's and then where these cross is where your last and they will cross in the middle in the center as well yes, my fingers are freezing <laughs> no. so I'm getting that in there and then flatten that down there right now inaccurate that so now I want to make sure that all these outer pins have made a nice mark in the paper because now I'm going to take them all off and where those points are oh you can see I made two points there so I'm going to join the points up with my pencil lines and that one joins to there see this is this is what I did with the paper strips but I had to swing them around to make sure that they got in accurately now I've got two points there so Oh, there was one there wasn't there, in the center so I'm going to go through that one it should guide me to the right point hopefully it's that one and then there was one there as well that's going to join up with that and there you have it there is your five pointed sign and you didn't use a compass you just appropriated if that is even a word a compass and using the divine uh, the golden section, sorry, and the relationship between the five pointed star and the golden section is very clear to see like this because you can see that's where those points fall. Um, and that's why the five point star and the pentagram are so special because they are an expression of the golden section and Fibonacci's number sequence is an expression of it in numerical terms. Um, we see it quite, we see this quite a lot in natural terms and that's an expression in nature. You see it in art using the golden section in architecture and art and all kinds of things. Um, so I wanted to show you how to do that, how to draw a star, a five-pointed star without using a compass. Ta-da, thank you.